three months, Salt Lake City School District will have a new superintendent. It's been a rocky year, to say the least, for Salt Lake City parents. Crisis in the Classroom reporter Chris Jones shows us how the previous superintendent was forced out and a legislative audit that sharply criticized the district for how it has managed and wasted taxpayer dollars. Guys, this 60-page legislative audit of the Salt Lake City School District is blistering. And whoever takes over will have to address these problems and a host of others. It's a big mess. Lucia Satini has two kids in the Salt Lake City School District. She says the district superintendent carousel has been spinning for too long. Now there's no sense of direction. And if the direction, it's really foggy, clear as mud, then where's, where are the leaders? Last year, Dr. Timothy Gatson stepped down after a single rocky year as the first black superintendent to lead a Utah school district. Four different school superintendents in four years. Now Salt Lake City is at it again. However, the district search, they say, will be different this time, including more input from parents. And instead of hiring a national search firm, the district will keep it more local, tapping the Utah School Board Association to help find the next school boss. They run the search for a lot of the superintendents in the state. We know that they're, they're capable of doing this, and we, we trust them to guide us through this process on a local level. The new superintendent will face a laundry list of problems, like regaining public trust, the district is also preparing to close some elementary schools, and administrators also want to rebuild West and Highland High Schools. Additionally, the new superintendent will work with a school board that was recently criticized in a legislative audit as having, quote, a culture and tone at the top that potentially diminishes the district's ability to meet goals. If your leadership is flipping a lot or there's no general direction, you're just going to be like a boat without a rudder. Rusty Cannon with the Utah Taxpayers Association says the high superintendent turnover is forcing the district to fall behind and is a symptom of a fractured school board. It matters who you elect to your school board and a lot of times voters don't pay a lot of attention to to these local school board races and they should. There's no stability. For Satini she says it's time for the school board and the new superintendent to get to work. If we're going to continue in this chaos then we're going to continue to have issues within the Salt Lake School District until folks just get it together, set their pride aside and actually do what's best for the children. <laughs> We've heard there have been more than a dozen applications submitted by potential job seekers. The district hopes to have their new superintendent in place by July. For Crisis in the Classroom, I'm Chris Jones, KUTV2 News.